Hey everyone, it's Coach Alyssa again, and I'm going to be recording the new slash old team stretch. Uh, we've been doing this one for a little bit now, but I've added some more ballistic type stretching in it, so it's less just like sitting there stretching. But before any sort of stretching that you do, you always want to do a warm up, so make sure you are nice and warm. Uh, do some runs, some high knees, jumping jacks, candlestick straight jumps, anything like that to make sure that your muscles are warmed up. Never stretch cold. Okay, so let's get started. Stretch in uh, my hamstring, so 
but up to you. Some people do this, I don't get a good stretch like that. So I'm just pressing, it's almost like you're doing a middle split. And then you'll rotate to that same leg lunge. We're still on our right leg for the lunges. Okay, here's another moving stretch. You're going from hands back, okay? Make sure your front foot is either turned out or straight. You never want it turned in, okay? But whether you turn it out or keep it straight, your knee goes over your toe, okay? Not past it, though. You're gonna go crown to an arch. You're pressing your hips forward, okay? Make sure your back leg's in a straight line. You don't want it all funky either. Then you come around the side, reach out to a straight leg pointed toe. That would be one, okay? We're gonna do, only do four. Go two, back and around. Three. One more time, four. Notice how when I reach back, my ears were covered. You do not want this to happen, okay? Hands reaching past your front foot, ankle rolls. One, two, let's get that sequence a little bit better. Three, four, other way. Make sure you're going through flex and point. Two, three, four, and arm side. Slide in. You're in your split. Hands are back. Come in your hips. Double check. Make sure that back leg's under. I'm not super flexible anymore, but a squared hip split would be better. This is probably as far as I can go with a super squared hip split, but still getting it. Just don't want to be on your butt where your back leg's completely out. That's just not going to be great. Okay? With hands back behind your hips. Reach to crown. Reach out. Grab your front foot. Elbows down on the floor. I'll face forward so you can see me a little bit better. My fingers just popped. One of those face here. Alright, there we go. And rock. You're pressing your hip to the floor. Three, there we go. Now you can see four, five, six, seven, eight. Flex, make sure when you're rocking on those, you're pressing your open hip. You don't want to roll towards your booty. So flex foot, if you have your split down, you should be able to pull your heel up off the floor. Didn't know what I was doing, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so arms are out. You're in your straddle. You just did eight rounds. Arms go out. Rotate back to your split. Okay, crown reaching back again. You don't want your head out. Ears are covered. One, two. The more. 
tired you are, the easier it is. We're counting to eight, six, seven, eight. Press. Arms are going to be out. It's not a low press on this one. Just out and tuck that foot leg under. Try and square your hips. Elbows are down. Grab with the same arm as the leg you're lifting and move. Try and square those shoulders and hips up. Knees together and rock forward and back. Three, four, only four of these side to side. Five, six, seven, eight. Backwards. Bend those elbows, but keep your hands flat. Two, three, four, flip and hold, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're gonna repeat literally the exact same thing, but our left leg. So, I'm gonna try and do less explaining on this one and more just of what the counts would look like. And no, I'm not a lefty, so this uh, might not be the prettiest one. Okay, here we go. Back up to TP after wrist and walk. Straight, bend straight. Go ahead. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left leg is ready. So step in right foot, kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Long lunge. Elbows down by your foot. Rock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, knee out. One, two, three, four. You're pressing that knee out. Five, six, seven, eight. Spidey. <clears throat> Your heel is flat. Turned out to the side knee out to the side. Lunge. Again, holding for eight on those holds. Crown around one. Try and reach past your front foot each time. Three. Four. Ankle roll. One. Big. Two. Three. Four. Other way. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And arm side. Slide in. Pressing hands back behind your hips. Double check everything is correct. Crowd and reach. Elbows down, grab, rock. Two, you're grabbing your heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flex if it's down, let heel up. Point, arm side. To straddle, reach to the opposite end. Holding for eight, six, seven, and flex press. Hold. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, reach to the foot. Two, three, the hand that's not grabbing is behind, pretty on the floor. Six, seven, eight, and point, right shoulder. One, this is opposite of last time, two. Three, four, hold those feet up, don't let them roll in. Five, six, seven, flat back, eight out. Try and rotate back to your split. There we go. Crown one, two. Again, it's easier if you're square. Three, I obviously am not. Six, seven, eight, which by the way is no bueno, but um, in order to show the stretch, I'm going to do it like that because uh, I can't do square tip anymore. On this one, your front leg is kind of in like a half butterfly. Make sure it's not directly underneath you. It's kind of pulled out in front. If you don't feel it like this, feel free to move your foot out a little bit more. But always square it up. You don't want to be on your butt. <clears throat> Full back leg. Square just means both hips are facing forward. So in reality, I mean, your shoulders could be unsquare. Your hips could be unsquare. Okay? <clears throat> I always say, like, your hips are your headlights, like you have one light on each hip, okay, you want to make sure your headlights are forward, or belly button and your front toe are in the same line in a split, you know, you can say it in different 
sideways, but square. Okay, you just want to be forward. Back to knees together, but this time we are not doing wrist. You're doing ankles, so you roll back onto those toes. You do not want your ankles to be apart like this. You want heels together and pressing those ankles forward. It's a big stretch for your heels. Holding for eight, and then cat. Cat is chest and armpits to the floor. Make sure straight arm, side, and then seat. Okay. Obviously, all of this will be facing in the same direction. Heels together if you're brand new. If you have a lot of like back issues or you're older, you can do this a little bit more relaxed. But for right now, we're going to do it this way just so you're going to pack in the first place and press up. Your hips stay flat. Four, five, six, seven. Add a line. No, ma'am. Seven. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> You're gonna roll to a plank. You're sitting on top. Normally, that section would be facing the back. Sorry, one of my uh, one of my girls that is not supposed to be jumping to the high bar. Just jump to the high bar. I mean, it was safe, but it was fine, but just want to make sure. Um, so you're sitting up tall. Normally, you would be facing the other way, but for you to be able to see, you can face this way. Fingertips back, shoulders back. Crouching, ankle rolls that goes flex, out, around. One, two, three, four. we do lines so like one two three kicks to the front kicks to the side kicks to the back handstand walks very basic things just having a lot of fun but um yeah so that's the new team stretch obviously I wouldn't stop and explain everything but if you're trying to do it at home for the first time or if you're trying to learn it while you're at home I mean kudos to you good job if you're stretching that's all that matters if you can stretch like 20 minutes a day you're already ahead of everyone else so Good job. Thanks, guys. Bye.